What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video, we are jumping into Scarlet Witch, issue number one. Written by Steve Orlando and having an artist that is Sarah Picelli. The color artist is Matthew Wilson. When it comes to the Scarlet Witch, we have only seen small glimpses of her here and there. At least ever since the event of her death. With her coming back, we saw that she had created a mutant heaven. But ever since that day, we really haven't seen much of her. And so with this comic line, we are going to be learning exactly what she has been up to. Now, make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel. Make sure that you like this video. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so our story, it is picking us up in the Pacific Ocean. We have Dr. Hydro currently riding this giant kaiju and he is attacking this shipping vessel. With all of this ongoing, it doesn't take long for the Scarlet Witch to show up. As we see this monster banished, the ship repaired. She sent the kaiju back home to Monster Isle. For Dr. Hydro, he is in a bubble reality woven from the New Jersey DMV. Or at least that is what she is telling these rich people on the boat. The ones that came here specifically to see this monster. But that is what takes us to Scarlet Witch's kind of bookstore that she created. This place is called the Emporium. A woman working here for her by the name of Darcy. She is quickly learning that her brother is here. That is where we see Quicksilver, with Wanda asking how her niece is, Luna and her mother, they are off in space. Zipping out of here and zipping back in an instant, he is bringing food, just an opportunity for them to really catch up. More than anything, he is wondering what Wanda is doing here. For her, this is balancing her past mistakes. Darkness held her back for so long, she is fighting, she is helping. She constantly asks herself how many people suffered because she didn't reckon with herself sooner. What she has done is built something here in the Emporium so people can get help with small things. And for those in need of greater things, there is the last door. A red door down here in the bookstore. This is part seeking spell, part portal. What it does is it finds those at their lowest. Those with nowhere to turn and it brings them here. She does this so that she can help them. As the two of them continue on their conversation, this is when the red door opens up. We have a young woman coming out speaking in Italian, and she needs some help. With the young woman recognizing that they are all speaking English, not sure where she really is, needing a little bit of clarity, Mrs. Chase, finding herself in Italy a second ago, now finding herself in this bookstore. She has seen documentaries, docu-series on Stephen Strange. She knows magic when she sees it, with Wanda letting her know that that is exactly where this is and that she is now safe. Offering her a cup of tea, Wanda tells her to sit down and see what's going on, explaining the situation, explaining that people come here for help free of charge, that Wanda is here to listen and help in any way that she can. This is where we learn that the Corrupter is in Italy. The whole town is answering to him. He is taking control using everybody as his subjects, even her very own wife. With all these people under the control, she doesn't know what to do. This is when Wanda recognizes a stone on the neck of Mrs. Chase. A stone that her father had given her. This is much more than just a simple stone. It can resist the power of spells. The spells bend around it like oil and water. This is what has protected her from the Corrupter. But Wanda says that she is going to deal with this Corrupter who has taken over the town. That her brother will rub the stone and make it much more powerful than the stone was before. That it will have the strength to not only protect her from spells, but others as well. That is when Wanda makes her way into this town in Italy. With the Corrupter having control of the entire populace, we see the people begin to come after Wanda. The Scarlet Witch, in an instant, she puts everybody to sleep. 
she goes and finds the corruptor the corruptor asking why she is here and then he goes on this whole rant about having control about how this all belongs to him that she needs to simply go away with wanda being done hearing this she tells him not to test her but at first he seems relatively unafraid in fact he tries to make scarlet witch remember everything she has done wrong going as far as calling her a hypocrite telling her to remember all the wrongdoings she has ever done with him trying to use his powers of corruption the scarlet witch is done here him with a simple touch on the forehead we see the corruptor turn to stone now frozen in this stasis she lets it be known that she would never forget the things that she has done that she knows who she is she also lets it be known that the spell that has been cast on him it can only be broken by the ones that he is hurt the people of this town they are the only ones that can free him they all must agree to do so waking everybody up and letting them know exactly what has happened that the corruptor's future is in their hands but tells them to consider this he corrupts them on their own worst impulses to not let him manipulate them don't let their vengeance be attractive destroying him would only prove his corruption was complete and so with wanda saying her goodbyes she makes her way back home no emergencies that were needed for her at the time quicksilver also bolting out of here after he got done fixing that stone wanda finds it very curious because touching it it numbed her hands if there are more of this out here she really wants to figure out where it came from as they go to close up for the night they go to have dinner only for an individual to walk through that door that individual just so happens to be vivian vision what you could call the daughter of the scarlet witch has just shown up and that will be the end of this issue so let me know what you guys think down in the comments i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit disappointed that it's not even mentioned once in this comic that she created a mutant freaking heaven she created a heaven for mutants and this has not been talked about in any way shape or form outside of the fact that mutants are like yeah we have a heaven that is it we have yet to see this heaven we have yet to visit this heaven we have yet to fully understand anything about it to further we have yet to have a single mutant that has been resurrected from this heaven or at least they haven't shown us this and so the fact that they started an issue number one scarlet witch and they didn't bring up the fact that she created a literal heaven it is severely disappointing with that being said marvel again going on the kaiju thing i'm so i'm tired of kaijus it seems like a such a reoccurring thing for the x-men comics oh we got a super powerful individual what are we gonna do throw a kaiju at them but outside of that, the last door, the red door, it does look very promising. Now with Vivian Vision showing up, I am very interested to see where they are going to go with this comic. But let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories. If you would like to get caught up on everything going on with X-Men, be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It is going to get you completely caught up on everything going on with those stories. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having five different tiers, from $1 to $50 from loyalty badges to getting free comics every single month not only are you helping out the channel tremendously but you are getting tons of perks in the process now if you can't do any of that do me a favor subscribe to the channel like this video hit that notification bell and with that being said until the next breakdown